Numbers. Chapter 33. These are the journeys of the children of Israel, who went out of the land of Egypt by their armies under the hand of Moses and Aaron. Now Moses wrote down the starting points of their journeys at the command of the Lord. And these are their journeys according to their starting points. They departed from Ramesses in the first month on the fifteenth day of the first month. On the day after the Passover, the children of Israel went out with boldness in the sight of all the Egyptians. For the Egyptians were burying all their firstborn, whom the Lord had killed among them. Also on their gods the Lord had executed judgments. Then the children of Israel moved from Ramesses and camped at Succoth. They departed from Succoth and camped at Etham, which is on the edge of the wilderness. They moved from Etham and turned back to Pihahirath, which is east of Baal Zepha, and they camped near Migdal. They departed from before Pihahirath and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham, and camped at Mara. They moved from Mara and came to Elim. At Elim were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, so they camped there. They moved from Elim and camped by the Red Sea. They moved from the Red Sea and camped in the wilderness of Sin. They journeyed from the wilderness of Sin and camped at Dafka. They departed from Dafka and camped at Elish. They moved from Elish and camped at Rephidim, where there was no water for the people to drink. They departed from Rephidim and camped in the wilderness of Sinai. They moved from the wilderness of Sinai and camped at Kibrath Hateva. They departed from Kibrath Hateva and camped at Hazirath. They departed from Hazirath and camped at Rithma. They departed from Rithma and camped at Rimon Pires. They departed from Rimon Pires and camped at Libna. They moved from Libna and camped at Rissa. They journeyed from Rissa and camped at Kihilatha. They went from Kihilatha and camped at Mount Shifa. They moved from Mount Shifa and camped at Hereda. They moved from Hereda and camped at Machilath. They moved from Machilath and camped at Tehath. They departed from Tehath and camped at Tira. They moved from Tira and camped at Mithka. They went from Mithka and camped at Hashmona. They departed from Hashmona and camped at Mosira. They departed from Mosira and camped at Beni Jerkun. They moved from Beni Jerkun and camped at Hoha Gidgad. They went from Hoha Gidgad and camped at Jatbatha. They moved from Jatbatha and camped at Abrona. They departed from Abrona and camped at Ezian Giba. They moved from Ezian Giba and camped in the wilderness of Zin, which is Kadesh. They moved from Kadesh and camped in Mount Hor, on the boundary of the land of Edom. Then Aaron the priest went up to Mount Hor at the command of the Lord, and died there in the fortieth year after the children of Israel had come out of the land of Egypt on the first day of the fifth month. Aaron was one hundred and twenty-three years old when he died on Mount Hor. Now the king of Arad, the Canaanite who dwelt in the south in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. So they departed from Mount Hor and camped in Zalmona. They departed from Zalmona and camped in Punan. They departed from Punan and camped at Obath. They departed from Obath and camped at Aije Abarim, at the border of Moab. They departed from Aijim and camped at Dibon Gad. They moved from Dibon Gad and camped at Alman Diblathaim. They moved from Alman Diblathaim and camped in the mountains of Abarim before Nebo. They departed from the mountains of Abarim and camped in the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. 
they camped by the Jordan from Beth Jesimath as far as the Abel Acacia Grove in the plains of Moab. Now the Lord spoke to Moses in the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When you have crossed the Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, destroy all their engraved stones, destroy all their molded images, and demolish all their high places. You shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land and dwell in it, for I have given you the land to possess. And you shall divide the land by lot as an inheritance among your families. To the larger you shall give a larger inheritance, and to the smaller you shall give a smaller inheritance. There everyone's inheritance shall be whatever falls to him by lot. You shall inherit according to the tribes of your fathers. But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall be that those whom you let remain shall be irritants in your eyes and thorns in your sides, and they shall harass you in the land where you dwell. Moreover, it shall be that I will do to you as I thought to do to them. Numbers chapter 34 Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Command the children of Israel, and say to them, When you come into the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall to you as an inheritance, the land of Canaan to its boundaries. Your southern border shall be from the wilderness of Zin along the border of Edom. Then your southern border shall extend eastward to the end of the Salt Sea. Your border shall turn from the southern side of the ascent of a crabbin, continue to Zin, and be on the south of Kadesh Barnea. Then it shall go on to Hazar Adar and continue to Asmon. The border shall turn from Asmon to the brook of Egypt, and it shall end at the sea. As for the western border, you shall have the great sea for a border. This shall be your western border, and this shall be your northern border, from the great sea, you shall mark out your borderline to Mount Hor. From Mount Hor, you shall mark out your border to the entrance of Hamath. Then the direction of the border shall be towards Zedad. The border shall proceed to Ziphron, and it shall end at Hazar Enon. This shall be your northern border. You shall mark out your eastern border from Hazar Enon to Shephon. The border shall go down from Shepham to Ribla on the east side of Ain. The border shall go down and reach to the eastern side of the Sea of Kinnereth. The border shall go down along the Jordan, and it shall end at the Salt Sea. This shall be your land with its surrounding boundaries. Then Moses commanded the children of Israel, This is the land which you shall inherit by lot which the Lord has commanded to give to the nine tribes and to the half-tribe. For the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to the house of their fathers, and the tribe of the children of Gad, according to the house of their fathers, have received their inheritance. And the half-tribe of Manasseh has received its inheritance. The two tribes and the half-tribe have received their inheritance on this side of the Jordan, across from Jericho eastward toward the sunrise. And the Lord spoke to Moses, These are the names of the men who shall divide the land among you as an inheritance, Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun. And you shall take one leader of every tribe to divide the land for the inheritance. These are the names of the men. From the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. From the tribe of the children of Simeon, Shemuel, the son of Amihud. From the tribe of Benjamin, Elidad, the son of Kislev. A leader from the tribe of the children of Dan, Bacchae, the son of Jogla. From the sons of Joseph, a leader from the tribe of the children of Manasseh. 
Haniel, the son of Ephod, and a leader from the tribe of the children of Ephraim, Kemuel, the son of Shiftan, a leader from the tribe of the children of Zebulun, Elizaphan, the son of Parnak, a leader from the tribe of the children of Issachar, Paltiel, the son of Azan, a leader from the tribe of the children of Asher, Ahiad, the son of Shilomai, and a leader from the tribe of the children of Naphtali, Pedahel, the son of Amihad. These are the ones the Lord commanded to divide the inheritance among the children of Israel in the land of Canaan.